Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. We're What we're doing here today is a brand new guide um, for getting Steam working on Chrome OS Flex. And this will probably work on a regular Chromebook too that doesn't support the, uh, the official Google Steam. Now, the deal is I did a prior video on this and um, with some recent updates to the Steam flat pack, the old video I did doesn't really work anymore. So what we're going to be doing in this video is starting the entire process from scratch. What I have here is a fresh install of Chrome OS Flex. Um, there's nothing on it yet. Linux isn't enabled on it yet or anything. So we're starting this whole thing from scratch. And the first thing we're going to want to do for this new guide is go ahead and open Chrome and pull up the Chrome flags. And what we want to search for here is Debian. And we get to pick the Debian version for our containers. And we're going to pick Bookworm. So hit that and then go ahead and do a restart. We're going to let that come up here in a second. Then we're going to go on to the next phase of this thing. So that was quick. Now what we want to do is click here, go to settings, click on advanced, and go down to developers. And we want to turn on the Linux environment. Now if it tells you uh, Linux is not supported on your Chromebook, what you're going to have to do is restart your computer, load up the BIOS, and enable CPU virtualization. If you don't have that option, you're not going to be able to do this, but uh, most computers from the last 10 or 12 years should be able to. So we're going to go ahead and turn that on. We're going to hit next. I'm going to make a username for me. We're going to give it some space. They uh, only give you 10 gigs to start. That's probably not enough if you're trying to do Steam. I like to do uh, 128, but you can do whatever you want. And we're going to hit install. This might take a couple minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and when this is done installing, we're going to come back and continue with the next step. All right, everybody, we're back here. We got the uh, Linux set up. The first thing you're going to want to do in your new terminal window is type sudo apt apt update. And that's going to go ahead and update all of our repositories here. When that's done, we are going to do an upgrade. So this should just take a second. Okay, now we're going to type sudo apt upgrade and hit enter and press Y. It's going to go ahead and install all that stuff. Now while that's installing, while that's installing, we're going to open our Chrome and we are going to go to FlatHub because we're going to be using Flatpak yet again. And we're going to pull up the instructions, set up FlatHub. They actually now have a Chrome OS option. You used to have to use the Debian instructions, but now we actually have Chrome OS here, so that's good. As you can see, step one was enable Linux, which we already did. We got our terminal ready, and whenever this is done, we're going to go ahead and do the next step, which is going to be sudo apt install flatpak. So I'm going to pause the video while our updates happen, and when that's done, I'm going to come back and we're going to proceed with the tutorial. Okay, here we are again. Our updates are done, as you can see. So now we're going to type sudo apt install flat pack hit enter we're going to say yes it's going to go ahead and get that installed and that should take a minute and while that's installing we're going to come here and copy this so this is our next step this is just adding the repository to flat hub which is this website here that has all the packages so all you have to do is right click to paste that into your terminal and hit enter and that should just take a second and there we go next thing we have to do is restart now this is you can right click on the terminal and say shut down Linux but that doesn't work so we are just going to just to make sure we get it restarted I'm just gonna restart the entire uh, machine because that'll only take a minute and when that comes back up we're gonna come back to the uh, tutorial here and we're going to keep on keeping on all right, so we've rebooted into Flex. We have logged in. I'm gonna go ahead and open the terminal back up by clicking on that and then clicking on Penguin. Meanwhile, we're gonna open our Chrome back up and go back to FlatHub. And now we're gonna search for Steam. And to install Steam, we click on that. And we have this install button, you click on the down arrow and we wanna copy this first box here. So you can just click on this to copy it. You can come over here and right click to paste. And we hit Y for yes. And then Y again. And this is all the stuff we're going to install from FlatHub. We hit enter. This part might take about 10 minutes. 
Um, it should just go through everything one after the other. And when this comes back up, we'll be ready to uh, get our steam set up. So get this far, I'm gonna pause the video and then we're gonna come back and finish setting up steam. All right guys, we're back again. Our uh, flat pack just got done installing. So we can probably go ahead and close our terminal out. And if we go ahead and hit our button here, we should now have a steam icon, which probably means we're on the right track. So that'll take a minute to pop up. And if you ever installed Steam before on Linux, Windows, or Mac, uh, what's about to happen here probably looks familiar, familiar to you. Uh, updating Steam the first time we open it, this is going to take a little while, especially on um, my Wi-Fi here. So once again, I'm going to stop the recording. We're going to let this update, and we'll see where we're at. All right, guys, and finally we're back again. Uh, the install finished. I went ahead and logged in, put in my little Steam code and everything. And as you can see, we are up and running with Steam. The last thing you're going to want to do, whether you're using uh, Steam on Chrome OS or Linux, is come up to your Steam menu and go to Settings. And scroll down here to Compatibility. And you want to turn on Enable Steam Play for all other titles. And it'll make you restart Steam. But the reason you want to do that is it lets you uh, run pretty much any Windows game on Steam. Uh, you probably want to do the same thing if you have a little Steam Deck. But, now look, not everything's going to work. Some things are going to be glitchy. But uh, I've noticed, especially on a full Linux distribution, you can get uh, quite a lot of mileage out of that Steam compatibility mm -hmm. thing. And so, I guess this is restarting. It's kind of stuck here for me. But, uh... I promise it's going to come back up and restart, and then everything's going to be good to go. You can go ahead and close that out. Oh, by the way, while that's restarting, I just want to show you guys. If you go to Flat Hub, um, just go ahead and try searching for anything you might want to install on a uh, either Linux or Chrome OS, because they have like a lot on here. Like I know you can even get Minecraft if you like playing that game. It has both the <clears throat> Java edition and it also has the launcher for the Bedrock edition, which is pretty neat. But uh, also, you know, I think their page used to be laid out better. There used to be, um, I thought cat the categories listed out, but now you kind of going to scroll down and find the categories. But anyway, Flathub's just a great resource. Um, I like using Flatpak. And so anyway, yeah, here's our Steam. You can go over to Library. All your stuff should show up. You should be able to install pretty much anything Windows or Linux now. Uh, and so there it is. Go ahead and try it out. Let me know if it worked for you. Let me know if it didn't work for you. Uh, updating to the latest version of Debian is what uh, went ahead and let us install the latest version of the Flatpak. So make sure you don't miss that first step. And as always, if there's anything else you want to see on Chrome OS, let me know. Until next time, though, I thank you all for watching. And of course... I hope you stay out of trouble and have a good day. Goodbye now.